Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Broadway Tower. As you can see, it's just started raining, so that's typical. But let's see if we can go out and get some nice shots of the tower. Fortunately, it's quite busy. I'm not sure if you can see that in the image, but it's pretty busy. Plenty of people walking across, which is as to be expected, summer holidays, etc. I think we've got some lovely views over there. Let's go check it out. Also today, I'm mainly going to be shooting with the uh, Sigma 60mm, which is on my Sony now. Yeah, I did nearly fall over my own bag that I've put on the floor there. You know, I live about 10 minutes away from this place and I've never been because I thought it'd be great to come and look around. But so far, all there really is, is the tower. So yeah, apparently it's been in many TV shows and films. I mean, I haven't seen any, but that doesn't mean it hasn't. If you've seen any of them, let me know in the comments which they are. I might, might check them out if there's like a local landmark that's been in, say, a feature film or a TV programme or Summit, that'd be wicked but uh yeah what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna get a bit closer um obviously we're on the 60 mil 24 mil full frame equivalent uh, sigma lens so i've taken one shot which you've just seen from sort of back here um really we need to get a lot closer now so let's go so first composition i've found which i quite like the look of is just this leading line down this right hand side i'll show you a minute on the photo so just a quick wall coming past the tower two lads are now just walking up to the tower so they're gonna get photoshopped out we're at f1.4. Yeah, I like that. So now I just got myself that little bit closer. Again, um, behind me look though, there's lots of beautiful deer. So maybe not a wasted trip today. Um, but let's have a look, see what we can see through this here. Let's focus on the tower, F8. Not uh, amazing today, not amazing. It's, uh, it's a spectacular thing, but probably not as spectacular as I thought it would be. Bit of a shame, really. So as you can see, Broadway Tower's just out of view over there, look. Um, and I'm just trying to basically find some, some compositions to try and, I don't know, spice this thing up with a, with a 16 mil Sigma, because so far it's just not, it's just not doing it for me. Um, through those trees maybe see what that looks like we'll go down to f1.4 through the trees focusing on the building like i say i'm not expecting this to be some sort of like portfolio worthy journey you know in a minute i'm going to stick the uh the sony 85 mil on because i think i can probably get some better shots let's maybe try a low down shot here as well let's go for f go for 7.1 most attention focused. There is like a stray branch here to the left hand, right hand side, this one here, which I'll probably Photoshop out because it looks terrible. So I'm just gonna take a quick, quick wander around, see what I can find. There's a big couple there. I think the big stag is just under that tree, which is rather annoying. Uh, it's just a little bit longer. Also has the stabilization, yeah, has the stabilization looking on the POV made a few changes because I've noticed how bad it was. I think I've worked out why. If this is still no good when I get back, I have got another fix. Oh, now that is perfect. Straight on that stag is looking at me. F1.4. Excellent. Now I am happy with that image. I hope. So I'm now back over to where I started. So now you can see this leading line, this wall in front of me. You can also just see the tower in the background there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take some shots, but we're gonna be at 85 mil now rather than the 16 mil. So massive difference. And in actual fact, it's not 16 mil either. Well, it's not 16 mil, which is 24 mil full frame. It's not even 85 mil either. It's 127.5, I think something like that. 125, 130 mil. So we really are at both ends of the spectrum, really. So see what shots we can get from here. Really, it's a little bit too close. In all honesty, it's a little bit too close. So we're gonna go with F4. That tree really needs to not be there. That's rather annoying. So let's just dip down, minding the deer poo. Can I get the wall and not that? Actually, I'm gonna do that with also F1.8. Um, there's now people walking into the shot, so I'm gonna wait for them to move. I will get the shot in a minute. I'll speed this up in the edit. 
This is what photography is all about. It's like a waiting game. You've got to wait for the shot. There's a bloke over there who's just done some, is that how they did the torch? Someone let me know in the comments. Do you like flip your t-shirt up and get your belly out? Is that what you do? Let me know. Oh, now I think he heard me. Awkward. I mean, I'll, I'll quickly switch my um, Sony to video. Look at the amount of people just here taking photos. Oh, I'm going ND filter and hang on. Let's make this wide open. Photos, 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 photos. A couple more people, photos, ruining my photo. Yeah. But it's all part of the fun, isn't it? It's all part of the fun and games. So we go back to aperture priority, back to kneeling down. And when I get my shot, I'll come back to you. Quick update on this single photo front. Uh, it, 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 the situation's got worse. It's sort of like a family fun day up there now. Everyone's taking photos, I presume you can see. Not sure, I've got you on my chest, so uh, I can't actually see the screen. That could be something DJI could uh, do, couldn't it, with the action tool or whatever. Make the, uh, make the second screen like a wireless, I suppose you use your phone, don't you? What am I on about? I could just use my phone to view it, could I? Yeah. I'll continue to wait. While we wait, I'm actually quite partial to a man-made structure. And I love, I absolutely love these hand-built sort of stone walls that we get. Absolutely incredible. But I quite like this. There's a little bit of a composition here. I tell you what, if that tree there was missing, this would be perfect with a Broadway tower, We've got this little out hook with, I like the, the color of the corrugated uh, sheet on the top. Let's get a snap of that. What does that look like? F1.8. Yeah, I like that. That's a bit of me. I think I can finally get the shot. F1.8, focusing on the window. There may be a little bit of tidying in Photoshop to do. Or I might wait here a little longer and get another snap. We shall see. Yeah, so I think that just about sums up Broadway Tower for me. Um, a place where I guess it's using its natural beauty, but it's a bit of a one hit wonder. You take some photos of it and it's a bit, it's a bit meh, it's a bit underwhelming. Um, I know there's a big, a big sort of park behind me that you can obviously go around and, and walk around and look at, but yeah, I think just after that, I think I overhyped it myself, so it's lost a bit of shine. And it's also sort of shown me that, that wide angle, I, I really do not like wide angle photography. You know, even this 16 mm lens I'm filming on now, which is a 24 mm equivalent, it's just too wide for me. I think probably the widest I wanna go is something probably around 35. So that 18 to 50 f 2.8, is going to be on order later today so there'll be lots of content videos coming up on that um, once again thank you very much for watching uh, please like the video if you found something informative or funny or any comments greatly appreciated uh, please subscribe to the channel plenty more stuff coming more dji action 2 stuff coming whether you like it or not <laughs> and plenty more photography walking around and stuff obviously i live in the Cotswolds, so there's plenty plenty of stuff to video and photo so Definitely more of that to come and I can't wait to see you and I'll catch you in the next one.